Hello everyone, welcome to Weber Academy Offensive Security Series. I'm super excited to meet you all with another interesting series, Ethical Android Hacking Series. In this series, we will be exploring the fascinating the world of hacking on the Android platform. The series is designed to help you to learn about the various techniques used to hack Android devices. The series will take you on a journey to understand the inner working of Android devices and how to manipulate them for various purposes. Android releases in 2008, adoption of Android has sold and widely used it and it is now by far the most common mobile operating system. The reason for Android successful or tied to do release as an open source software which allow application developers much better insight into its inner working. The robust set of application extension to Android translate to app Android appearing on many different types of hardware. In fact, Android rapidly captured the majority of the worldwide mobile operating system market and consistently hand over 70% market share. The same openness that makes Android appeal to be a mobile developer also make it attractive to the hackers. The open platform makes it easy to hack on. Of course, while most hackers simply enjoying the experimenting with the hardware and software, there are ways going to attacker who seek to exploit vulnerability. Whether you are a beginner looking into a develop into the world of Android hacking or an experienced hacker wanting to expand your knowledge, this series will provide a valuable insight and technical to further enhance your skills. So buckle up and get ready to dive into exciting reveal of Android hacking. <laughs> The series is divided into several chapters. So each chapter covering a different aspect of Android hacking. Here are the topics which is covered over there. Chapter one series introduction. It's nothing but what you are seeing in this video where I set the stage for what to come. We will be providing an overview of the topics that I'll be covered, the tools, the resource that will be used it and objective we aim to achieve through the series. This is the video which is you are currently seeing over there. Disclaimer, please note that the series is for education purpose only and I request should not use this content for any illegal activities. So chapter two, we are going to see how Android devices can be hacked using a RAD tool, which is a remote administration tool. So we can gain the backdoor access of the Android and we can control of it. And in chapter three, we are going to see how we can hack a Android via simple URL or simple URL, just text message or has a WhatsApp message or Telegram. Those things just very has a link. We are going to see it over there. In chapter four, we are going to hack an Android using a malicious app. So basically we will be creating an APK and based that APK we just going to using a social engineering attack and we just going to uh, install in the operating system in Android and going to see all this what is going to happen. In chapter pi, I am going to show how to track the Android phone location with a simple link. So that you can uh, by just clicking use when the victim click the link usually you can get the locations and you can track everything IP address and all the factors you can see it over there. In chapter 6 Android hacking using netcat backdoor access. So instead of using a rat tool I'm just going to demonstrate which is a netcat which is a, a Swiss army knife see how usually hackers most of the hackers will be widely used it, and even ethical hackers penetration testing they will be using this netcat tool widely. So using netcat I'm just going to show how to create a backdoor and using that backdoor how we're going to get a Android, hacking the Android over there. In chapter 7, hacking Android via Bluetooth because Bluetooth is are widely used and most of the hardwares are coming with the Bluetooth things. So if, if just imagine your TWS wireless, you are connecting anything is yours, you are using a Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is plays a vital thing and so I'm just going to show how Android devices can be hacked when the via Bluetooth is as well. In chapter 8, it's a conclusion basically. Uh, so I'm going to discuss about where you can enhance further more skill. What are the course you can go and read it? What are the books you can uh, upskills your knowledge? So where you can. So basically, this is something like how it's a completely I'll be talking about the developments, how you can upskills uh, on things and uh, how you can do a penetration testings on Androids and everything's over 
over there if suppose you are doing a penetration testings and because most of the companies are nowadays coming with a web application and parallelly they're looking for a web applications mobile applications as well so during that phase how you can do a web applications testings and also i'm just going to conclude that uh, how to keep your android devices more secure and also uh, how to check whether your android devices are hacked or not so those conclusions just basically the conclusions of this chapters will be there sir. that's all i have in the chapter one so chapter one is basically introductions about the series as i said earlier so very soon i'll be meet you all with the series of the chapters it's i'm i'm super excited to make this series so i hope you will be excited with this series and if you did it please ensure to hit the like button and ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay update on upcoming series videos so that you will not miss the whenever i post the videos on android chapters wise you will be notified and you will be can view it over there also feel free to share this video with others who might find it interesting if you have any questions or feedback don't hesitate to reach out to me via discord link in the description thank you all see you soon with the chapter 2 take care bye